Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Some of the most incredible ancient finds from pre-pottery Neolithic Turkey deserve a dedicated video in their own right, and the Kalistic sculpture that was found in Adiaman, southeastern Turkey in 1965 is one such rare find. Until the first discovery of the famous T-shaped pillars at Navali Kori in the 1980s, the Kalistic sculpture was, as Jens Notroff says in a brilliant article I've linked below, an archaeological oddity. Found by a local farmer and purchased by two archaeology students working close to the village of Kalisic, at the time an anthropomorphic statue or pillar with a T-shaped head had never been seen before. The limestone statue only measures 80 centimetres in height and has a broad curved back, an oversized head but slim face with a well-emphasized nose. We can see a bent arm on each side of the body, with the hands meeting at the navel area. Where the hands meet we can see a bulge, which looks to be the head of a smaller person below. On the small person, the left arm is hanging down, whilst the right arm is reaching towards the lower body, where we see a circular hole cut into the stone. Whether or not the hole is original or a later addition is open to debate. Maybe the smaller figure is depicting a man and a phallus was once mounted in the hole. Or maybe the hole itself implies the smaller figure is female. There are also other features to note, such as a linear feature carved on each side, sloping up towards the hands and the small head. This creates an overall zigzag pattern on each side of the statue. The head also looks to have two specific parts, the narrower front section and a bulbous back, and of course it's this strange shaped head that has led to many obvious comparisons to the Alien franchise of movies. <laughs> but the sculpture from ancient Turkey doesn't have a little mouth extending from a bigger one, and it isn't evidence for ancient aliens. But now, after three decades of extensive pre-pottery Neolithic excavations in Turkey, it does finally have some context. We don't know exactly where it was discovered, but it clearly comes from some unknown unexplored early Neolithic site, and that's because it looks to combine elements and characteristics from other sculptures that have since been discovered, such as the T-shaped pillars of Gebekli Tepe. The Kalistic sculpture is significantly smaller than the anthropomorphic pillars of Gebekli Tepe, which are around 5.5 metres in height. But the T-shaped head, the bent arms and hands coming together at the navel, is clearly mirrored in the Kalistic sculpture. The face of the sculpture, especially how the nose is portrayed, is also somewhat similar to the stone heads and masks also found at Gebekli Tepe. Furthermore, the nose of the larger figure, and also the pose of the arms on the smaller figure, being directed towards the genitals, is also similar to the famous Earthman sculpture. We can also compare the Kalistic sculpture to the so-called stone totem pole of Gebekli Tepe. This composite figure, which featured in one of my recent videos, shows a large animal with bent arms coming together at the head of a human whose hands also reach down to the navel, above the head of an even smaller figure, whose hands come together at the genital region. A smaller composite sculpture was also found 20 years earlier in Avali Kori. So, although the Kalistic sculpture is unique in form, it is in keeping with the art and sculptures of pre-pottery Neolithic Turkey. But the way it combines the iconography of the T-shaped pillars, as well as the features on the stone heads and totems, well, it really does make it truly special. Some people think it shows a mother and child, some think it shows two male figures, and some think, well, some think it's an alien. But I have to say it wasn't aliens, and in all honesty, in terms of ancient civilizations, it never is. Although, on Pillar 43, is it just me or is that a facehugger? Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, 
please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.